Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to download this great and free adult app for your Amazon Fire Stick. First of all, we'll have to get an app code downloader. There is a high chance that you already have it on your device. In that case, just skip to the next part of the video. Otherwise, watch this part of the video as well. If you don't have this app yet or you are not sure how to properly use it or how to set it up. So to get downloader, we can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device and start typing downloader here. As you can see, it already popped out here at the bottom for me. If it didn't uh, pop out for you in your case, then just type in the whole name of the app, which is once again downloader. Then click on it. And here's the application which you need to download. However, that's not it. After you download the app, you also have to set it up properly so you could install other applications from the internet. And to do so, we'll have to go to settings on your Fire Twisted device by clicking on that gear icon in the right part of the screen. Then we'll go to My Fire TV. And here we'll have to enable developer options. So open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and make sure that those options are enabled for the loader. However, in some cases, on some Fire TV devices, the developer options are hidden by default. So if you open My Fire TV and do not see the developer options there, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and then click on the middle button on your remote for seven times. And do it fast. Let's do it. Now, as you can see at the bottom, for me, it says no need, you are already a developer. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see the developer options. So once again, you got to open them, enable ATB debugging, go to install unknown apps, and enable that option for the downloader. So what it does, it actually allows your downloader to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily from the official Amazon App Store. So now we're free to install pretty much whatever we want. And after that, if you go to the list of your apps and find downloader, you kind of can start using it. However, there is one more thing which I really recommend doing before that. It's of course connecting to a VPN. There is a lot of different VPNs out there, but I prefer NordVPN, basically because I got a great app for Fire Sticks and other devices. They're super fast and not expensive. So we just open VPN, connect to pretty much any location. It doesn't matter, at least in Nord, because it has the same encryption in every server. So you just select location and now boom, we are connected to a VPN. From now on, your internet provider can't know what you're doing online or your landlord isn't able to stalk you and your internet traffic, which really comes in handy when downloading stuff from the internet, especially if you're using adult apps. Once again, it's not mandatory. The loader is going to work just fine without a VPN, but it's for your own privacy and protection. And if you want to get a VPN, you can use a promo link in a pinned comment below this video, which will give you one month of NordVPN totally for free, which is a great deal. Now, after we have connected to VPN and protected ourselves, we can finally safely use the loader. So open the app. Here you'll find a search bar and here we'll need to type a link, which you'll be able to see on the screen in just about a moment. So here's the web address you have to type in the downloader app. Take a closer look and make sure not to make any typos. After that, press on go. Then a website is going to open. You'll find a link here. In order to download the app, you just got to click on that link. Then a download process is going to start. You have to click on install in the right bottom corner. After the installation is finished, do not click on open yet. Instead, press on done. We are doing it this way so we could delete the installation file because we don't need it anymore but it clocks the memory of your Fire Stick device, so always delete your installation files. Click on delete here. Now, if you go to the list of your apps, you will finally see that new application here. Though for a better experience, I also recommend getting a mouse toggle. So what it does is going to let you use a mouse cursor on pretty much any app. Therefore, it will be way easier to select different media files in such apps as we just loaded. 
And if you don't know how to set up a mouse toggle, I do have a tutorial for that. Here it is on the screen for you.